video, guys. I feel like it's been a little minute, and I think it has, man. Two weeks or so. Things have been good, still on the bulk right now. I got another five weeks till my cut gets really serious, and I'll be 12 weeks out from the show I'm doing in December. It's been more the same, man. A lot of meals, still six meals a day. A lot of carbs in those meals. Still training uh, about five days a week, giving myself two rest days, but doing cardio most days of the week, about four. I did as a separate session, so staying as tight as I can while I put on some size. And uh, over here, we're getting the day. Well, I guess not started. This is the second meal. Had some egg whites for breakfast, but uh, the pre-workout meal. There's actually some pancakes, something I don't have too often, but this is like an organic wheat and whey protein isolate mix. So it's got a good amount of protein in there. I'm getting in a good 25, 30 grams of protein with a couple servings of this. Do some cinnamon in, just uh, honestly for the taste. Man, it's been a, I don't know, it's been, it feels like it's been a slow year, you know, not, uh, not traveling too much, not collabing too much, but hopefully this is gonna change in the next month. Get out and uh, maybe link up with a couple of the athletes before my prep gets too intense. And then, uh, of course, I'll try to do some after the show. But uh, yeah, I think you guys should hit me in the comments with uh, other YouTubers who train that you guys wanna see me collab with. See what we can create. Alright, this is the trick right here. These are a little bit dry because of protein pancakes. But that's alright because I got this uh, maple syrup made from monk fruit sweetener. Which is uh, supposed to be a better natural sweetener. So pour a little bit of that on. And just so I just don't overdo it. But they stay a little more moist. So that's unfortunate. Just a little bit of milk. That's it. That's solid, man. I'm telling you, the cinnamon makes it. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna link this pancake mix below for you guys. I mean, I'm not an affiliate or anything, but this is the way to get it in. Like I mentioned, I don't have any training partners right now. They're warming up with me, so you guys missed it. We did a couple of that. They're all right, I smoked them though. I took all three. Bambi and his friends. <laughs> all right, on a real note, I'm gonna warm it up. So like I said, I have shoulders today. I'll show you guys my shoulder warm up that I like to do. Helps warm up my rotator cuff, all that fun stuff. Uh, but first, I just wanna get my full body warmed up. I didn't get a run in this morning. Got up kind of late. Happens sometimes, I'll make up for it tonight or tomorrow but I know that means I definitely want to get get everything loosened up, even get my legs warmed up a little bit, shoulders too, so I'll jump on the, jump up in a minute, but I'd like to take some laps, man, open things up, enjoy the sun, because why not, right? I'm not gonna spend too much energy on it, maybe just one or two minutes, jogging it out, and then uh, five minutes on the jump rope, and that's it. me do this before if you're not new to the channel. Good little, little shoulder warm up. They're about 20 rep sets.
Alright, let me grab a 45. First, we're going to exercise the day. Oh, I think uh, seated barbell presses. So 155 feels, if it feels kind of light, do it like three or four. Then uh, maybe add another 10, 20 pounds to the weight, to the barbell. I mean, if it feels good and I feel like 10 is going to be a good struggle, just to keep good form, constant tension on the, the shoulders. You know, I want to stay tight when I'm sitting in that chair too. Yeah, always just fill it up. opportunity got the scribble reasons back on but if you guys notice when I'm coming down I try to come just about to chin level so my arms are a little bit below 90 degrees and as I press up I try to press up over my head so I almost push my head through just a little bit still want a strong base core is tight legs are planted but I'm not trying to use too much strength leg gap just enough to kind of give me some stability also let me go up I'm feeling good Sacrificing too much form, using you know, too much of my back, trying to get the weight up. Good as it should have been. So, you know, things got tweaked a lot and, and kind of, you know, inflamed and you just get a little bit of pain. It's not a, not just like I'm coming in and getting a great pump. This is when I was starting. So, I don't know if I could look back. My advice, at least to myself, would be just slow down, focus on each exercise, focus on good form, good control, and, uh, you know, the, the muscles. The right muscles will grow that way. It's easy to do a lateral raise and just squeeze your traps back, you know. And then you're not really going to grow your, your side delt and develop that muscle. So how are you going to build a better mind-muscle connection and all that. So if I would have just taken my time a little bit more, I think I would have seen better results faster, had less pain. The crucial part about shoulders, if you're building your physique, is that's, you know, that's kind of like, it really gives you that shape. You could even kind of have smaller arms. Maybe a smaller chest, maybe a back that's not all there, all that developed. And if you're walking around, you got those shoulders, man. You're just gonna have that that look, especially if you're a smaller waist. So 
it's a good place to start. It's not everything. You want to make sure all of your, you know, all of your body parts are strengths at the end of the day. You know, that's kind of the goal. But they're an important one. At least one not to not to miss early on. You know, that's my rent. That's probably my time. cables and do them, you kind of get constant attention that way. I, honestly, I was used to do a, just like an easy bar, it was just a, it's a good position for my hands, especially at the top, you get a little bit of an angle versus a straight bar. Honestly, recently in the last year or so, I think every time I hit it with dumbbells and I get more of a free path of motion with that, and I feel like I can squeeze my rear delt a little bit better, because it's designed to be predominantly a rear delt exercise. But I like those, so we're gonna do those today. Go here, just try and keep my core tight, posture neutral. Again, it's kind of like the uh, loud raise. I don't want to be you know, even it up with my back. Just nice control. Try to keep my bicep out of it at the same time. And uh, get a good squeeze on the rear delt. into a shrug every rep, so I feel like I'm going to drop it one lower, it's a little bit high. So everything's tight, coming up, shrugging, and then back down, and that's one rep, so I believe I got four sets of 10 to 12 up here, let me check Nope, five sets of eight, so similar volume, but an extra set, less reps, I'll take that. But even still, eight reps, it seems like a short set. When I was doing this last week, and uh, my lower back just gets so pumped from uh, just the tension and the amount of blood in there. Uh, it can be a bit of a cave, so I'm gonna really try to make sure my forms on point. But there's still a lot of time under tension for those sets. So we'll start uh, 135, maybe 225, and then uh, maybe the first working set, somewhere between 225, 300 pounds, somewhere in there. Fighting. 
Try not to let it slip out. You could probably use straps, but I'm gonna see how the chalk works in this next set. But I felt good. Definitely staying there. My girlfriend has my straps. I don't use them much, but something like this would help. Good straps too. Honestly, she's probably putting them to better use than I do, so what can I say? surprised if I add too much more fat in the next few weeks before I start to strip things back. I mean, the cardio is already starting to go up. Definitely work on some flexibility with that. I don't even know if it's flexibility for it, just a more muscle. I don't know, it's, it's a definitely a little less motivated doing these poses and sessions. But I'm not as cut, but it's a matter of time though. About a month and then start peeling away just a little bit of this fat. And I'm happy how my body's responding to this box so far, for sure. I just added two new training programs to the app I mentioned in the last YouTube videos. Kind of a bit of a promo highlight video that Ken edited and we put out. Yeah, no, the, the app, at least you guys who've been in it, I really enjoy it. So these two new programs, are geared towards pairing up with the bulking and cutting nutrition. So it's kind of a bulking program, cutting program, just training that, you know, it's more, a little more geared towards building strength, a little more geared towards cutting down. There's some cardio recommendations in there too. And uh, that's all on the app, so I'll show you guys that as soon as we get back. Other than that, man, what do you always say, Ken? Our bots. Roll out. All right, I was like, you gonna finish it? Hey, I thought you were gonna finish it. All right. <laughs> I guess maybe I left you hanging on that one. A little bit in, I'll hold me over for a second. I had to cook some rice, I didn't have any prep, but just gonna eat it with some uh, chicken cooked up in the air fryer. Uh, if you guys are curious, I really, I could use some seasoning recommendations too. I don't know I'm asking for a lot in the comments in this one, but I forget what I asked earlier. But this is really the, the best of where I'm at, just a little garlic sea salt. Because to be honest, I don't like the flavor too much because I'd rather have it with uh, like different sauces. Because once you flavor it, you're kind of stuck with the flavor if it's real strong. So if you guys have some good recommendations for seasoning, I'd appreciate it. And then, you know, we can all kind of see the thread and whatever some of the top ones are. And everybody everybody gets put on that way. But the last thing I want to show you guys is the new training app, which I've been really proud of. Is maybe about five, six weeks in now. Uh, I've gotten some great feedback, like I was saying, in the gym. And these are the new programs I added. So, Ken, if you want to come over my shoulder here. Uh, so once you sign up, the link will be the link is below in the video description, um, and you'll be taken to the sign up page. But you're able to download this app where everything stores. So I'm constantly every month uploading new training programs. So I started with a push pull split, uh, upper lower split, uh, which is good, especially if you're more of the beginner beginner level. I've got honestly, it's going to be easier for me to go here. So I'll go to the the app. You guys will see which will look like this. Sorry about that. So yeah, we got the push-pull split, upper, lower. Of course, each day or each each uh, week, you know, you have the sessions on here. Week one, day one. So let's say if we want to, let's go to one of the new programs. So I have the, the one split for bulking and cutting. So let's go to the cut. If we did what's well, similar to today. So we could go to the chest and the shoulders. And, you know, it's all laid out here. Like kind of the overview of what you'll be doing if you want to just reference that. Uh, but you can actually go in, you know, start the workout, you know, look at look at each one. It's going to give you the rest time that I recommend between each set. Uh, if you're not familiar with the exercise, you can always go here. Kind of detail, really, really slow down, break it down. You can watch, analyze the motion. Um, or if you have any questions on things, you guys can hit me up through the app by just shooting me a message once you're logged in. I don't know if I can shoot myself a message because that wouldn't make much sense to be honest. Yeah, once you're in, 
let's see, yeah, you can just message me at the top, just on my main page. And then I have some de detailed videos breaking down my nutrition philosophy, uh, a little bit more in depth for my cut bulk and, and how I used to maintain year round just to, to stay pretty lean. Uh, so if you guys want to follow that, you know, there's some good recommendations. So you guys can kind of apply it to, uh, you know, to your own training, your own physique. And then lastly, if you go here, I got my Spotify playlist linked in there, my merchandise. Hopefully the next drop is coming sometime in September. I'll keep you guys updated with that. And uh, a pretty comprehensive nutrition guide. The videos kind of break down sections of this nutrition guide, but this, this really covers everything. Grocery list, meal samples, protein, carbs, fats, how to how to set up your own, um, how to essentially set up your own nutrition. That's my goal is, you know, if you guys want to message me once you're signed into the app, you know, that's cool. I can kind of guide you through setting it up yourself. And, and I mean, if you want to do it even faster, I'm decent at getting back. Uh, it is hard because I love your questions, but you guys have a lot. So I do my best to get back to all of you who are on there. And, um, but yeah, if you, if you go to the nutrition guy, you can set it all up, calculate, calculate your maintenance calories. And then from there, I have a recommendation for, you know, the caloric deficit to start a cut, caloric surplus for the bulk, and then how to calculate your macros from that based on percentages and how many calories are the, you know, gram of fat, protein, carbs, all that stuff. So really, the, really and truthfully, the goal is to create a space where you guys can continually, you know, check in, stay motivated, have fresh workouts, be able to train the way you want to train, you know, take your diet as far as you want to take it. And, and really be as successful as you can in you know, building a physique you want. And I spent a lot of time at the beginning of the year with the team setting it all up and really, really trying to tailor it to that experience specifically. So you know, any feedback you have, again, hit me in the comments. It's, it's, it's a comment video. I never say anything, Ken, about the comments. And now I've got like three, four things. I don't know. Write me a letter in the comments at this point. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. But uh, no, all, all seriousness, um, if you guys have questions about it, I'll uh, do my best to get back to your comments on uh, on this video. Hit me up on Instagram. That's about it. Thanks for sticking through the video. That's a little shoulder session. That's my training app. But what do I know? I'm just Merck. <laughs>